Yeah, right away because we have a breaking news and major mega threat, the biggest threat of the summer so far. Unbelievable turnover. The Calgary Flame threat, the number 19, Matthew Kachuk to the Florida Panthers. Again, Jonathan UB do 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 do. And of course, Mackenzie Wigar. And a first round pick, unbelievable, and make a trade right now in NHL. The Flutter Panthers trade, Jonathan Huberdo. And Mackenzie Wigar, a first round pick and a prospect and return. They got Matthew Katschuk and he signed a contract of eight years for a total of $76 million. Unbelievable. This is the mega trade of the summer so far. I just completed the show earlier and I decided to come back and maybe we're going to get some people join me live and maybe talk about the trade. And this is the major, major trade impact to team. I never thought the Florida Panthers was going to trade Jonathan Hubert though, but they did it and they trade off also Mackenzie Wegar and a first one pick. Unbelievable trade between the two teams. If you have any comments to put in the chat, please talk to me. I feel like I'm alone right now, but I know we have some people in the chat. Let me know what you think about this trade between the Florida Panthers and the Calgary Flame. So uh, let me know what you think about this one over there. Again, just repeat the trade we're happening. Um, a big major trade between the Calgary Flame and the Florida Panthers. Uh, Jonathan Huberdo, Mackenzie Wigar, first one pick and a prospect. Go to the, Flurry, the Calgary Flame for Matthew Katschuk and return. Matt Katschuk signed a contract of eight years, $76 million. This is, guy, an unbelievable trait. If you're on the chat, please give me your comments. Let me know what you think. If a few people show up, don't forget to click on the likes. Philip Jackson Game, welcome back. Danny T, welcome back. And uh, wow, stun, shock. Surprise, speechless. I don't know what you're thinking. Let me know what you think about this. Flutter gave gave to way too much. Midwest Sport, thanks to be with us. Thanks so much, my friend. And it's time. I'm going to be live for a couple more minutes. I just want to thank you. What, you, what your, is your first impression um, about this trade? And um, ah, I just don't know what you said. The fans, the reaction of the fans of the Chic of the Florida, I would like to hear from you. I know at some point uh Pac Monkey tried to talk to me, but if I said I cannot get him. And uh, wow, this is crazy, but ever more crazy for the WG 128 to 5 uh, Phillips. Uh, um Renegade man, uh, welcome in the house. I guess the flame won't be rebuilding. Wow. We know Uberdo will become a, a UFE next year, guys, but unbelievable. Again, Boomerang, the Florida Panthers straight, Jonathan Uberdo, Mackenzie Wigar, first one pick, and a prospect, Chris, uh, I think it's Chris Schwamp, Schwint, whatever his last name, in return. The Florida Panthers get Matthew Kachuk, unbelievable. I don't know what to tell you, I don't know what you're thinking. We have to HG uh, to study more the game. Uh, great trade for Calgary. Mark, uh, thanks to be with us. And uh, tell me what you're thinking. What is your comments? Like I said, I don't do a lot of, a lot of live, but I will just get out of my normal show. I said, you know what? Let's talking about this one over there and let me know what you think. And uh, Boomerang said, wow, Flora gave a lot. Uh, that's another comment for Boomerang. Anybody have any comments you want to talk with? We'll, just guess about this. Nicola de Gobi, welcome back. Uh, surprise for Nicola, of course. Uh, also, Danny, I wish the league would have got him uh, about this. Uh, uh, GM Bizito does not scare. Make a big trade on that one over there. 
uh, mega trade for Nicola. And uh, some gym are scared to do those kind of transactions. And uh, Bisto go for the, hit, the home run here. Try to get something there. Um, Luke Lefferson, surprise, of course, tonight. Someone asking me, where do you see him? And I mentioned two teams. Uh, they can go as a Florida, and I mentioned another team. Possibly Kachuk can go. And uh, I said Dallas. Dallas and Florida. And, uh, and we, we joke about the fact maybe they will trade Uber, though. There are something we don't know happening at the end of the season. And Montreal and Ottawa, when the team was on the traveling, we know the story about the strip club, everything like that. Can they be involved? I don't know how it is, honestly. I'm, I've just dropped this here. But again, mega trade, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I thought on PL Cine, uh, the one year of her shape won't be easy for PL playing a Winnipeg in front of defense. I agree with you. Back the monkey, welcome in the house. Uh, Uberdo will be trade again, Luc Lafortune said. He become a UFE next year, guys. Um, so, could be a go anywhere. Jose Duarte, welcome back in the house. Uh, Marco, both underperform in the playoff. Nice swap. We got this first as well involved with Uberdo. And uh, that's the guarantee for the Calgary Flame, if Uberdo does not want to stay there, they keep Wegar at 3.5 and a first one pick. And Wegar is the right defenseman, so that will add some show. And then now you have Langholm, Uberdo on the same line. They will have to find a right, def a right winger. But again, major mega trade again between the Flutter Panthers and the Calgary Flame. I'm shocked like you are. Don't forget to click on the like. We'll be there for a couple more minutes. I would love to hear about any um, any um, comments you have about that trade. What you believe is going to win this trade. What's your first impression about this trade? And that's what we at that we got is four defensemen. Look, I agree with you about this one over there. Uh, this is the Panthers' chance to win the cup. Renegan, he bring. Now they should come and get Gallagher new first line. <laughs> <laughs> Marco. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Three weeks ago, Goudreau, Calgary, Kachuk, Calgary, supposed to sign a new contract over there, went to Columbus, and now Kachuk in direction of Florida, and they have Uber do we got our first one pick, a stun at Trade where nobody was expected. And the St. Louis Blues uh, swing and one strike for the Blues and the New Jersey Devils. Second strike for me. And uh, wow. Ottawa, Detroit have a lot of great signature. And now we have to add Florida where right now that mix with them. Do you believe they are a better team with Ketchup or they are not a better team with Uberdo and Wegar. This is not right. Uh, look, uh, I thought St. Louis Blues would have grabbed him, Danny. Yep. Uh, wait, what Blackhawks? Welcome back. Uh, Others, the flame rivalry is going to be boring without Kachuk, uh, Renegade. Uh, uh, tu imagines, dans, la, dans un an, il y a un autre mega trait, uh, Nicola. <laughs> uh, Blackhawks, another quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, message got trade. Uh, Pat Kane trade to the Oilers. Uh, Robert, we said earlier, Sutter effect. Uh, Boomerang said, we talk about this this week. I don't know, uh, Boomerang. How can you complain? He have like one fifteen point good row, one three point catch up, forty two goal, forty goal. How can you blame Sutter, or how can you be unhappy about Sutter? Uh, Marco better with Kachuk. Uberdo does not get the center of the eyes where he hurt. Uh, Marco, uh, the one thing about Kachuk is uh, a winner because the tax. We know in Florida the tax are smaller, and uh, 
It's a great for him make more money in Florida. And for Uberdo, the door will be open for next year. I think he's going to be UFA. I don't think so. He will sign in Calgary. And it would be interesting where Uberdo wants to go next year. But until then, he's going to be for one year with the Calgary frame. This is a make a trade guy. I was not ex. The, I, we talk about Uberdo again, catch up this week. And I don't know how, le- you know, we, we just talk like this, but not deep. I don't know if it was Park Monkey. I don't know if it was Frank Zalazar. I think it was Frank Zalazar, uh, I believe. Uh, Kane agents are looking for New York. Uh, why is everyone leaving Calgary? Look. Wow. Um. What was the deal, uh, KLS? Huberto Wegar, first one pick and a light prospect, KLS, and return Mathieu Kachuk. And Kachuk signed a contract already eight years, $9.5, $76 million, done deal. And that's what they had at that moment. Um, think Calgary, we flip Wegar, already stuck. Not really, Marco. Uh, Calgary is not a are not like stock like we think they are. Um, because uh, they, they miss they lost Cobranson, they lost here we go. They are Anifin on the left, Anderson on the right, Danev on the right, Zadorov on the left, Now they have Wegar on the right. And then after that is Melash, Valimaki, and all uh, Kellinger. You can put this right there. So with Wegar, they can switch Wegar second pairing or third pairing, depending on Danev. And uh, that's give them right now $9 million to spend. And Uberdo right there at $5.9 million is the highest money spent for Calgary as a forward. Um, Calgary got nothing. Luc Lafosson, he was just straight to all us, the draft pick. Huberdo Toffoli sera a bon zero. Nicola, Calgary, I think Lambert is still a FA. Yeah. Now, can Calgary is going over there? That would be another thing. Maybe Calgary can get uh, No way they move the NF to the third pairing. Marco, Uh, remember, he got hurt last year, Marco. So that's the only, twi- uh, only thing I would say to you about this. Uh, uh, Toffoli is a, jo- uh, a player of the support, Luc Lafortune. Now, the second thing I would say to you, uh, Marco, is on the left side, they don't have anybody else. So remember, we got to play a lot on the left side, um, Marco. So it could be anything with Anderson. It could be Wegar with Tanev, Marco. It makes sense. Uh, Robert Austin, uh, he said, Kane McDavid, wow. Uh, Luke said, Calgary is losing. Um, it all depends, Look, if Huberto leaves the building or not in one year. If Huberto leave over there, I think they could be they could be a good deal a long term if Huberto sign over there. But if he don't sign over there, Wegal first one pick is not good enough. And 2024, I'm sure Montreal have 2023. So Oh my God, it's the first round pick, guys. 2025th. That's what I thought. 2025th, Florida Panthers. Wow. Uh, Nicola, Matthew for Ketchup. Uh, Ken is not going anywhere until the deadline. Blackhawks, I agree with you. I don't think so. They will trade him until then. At least they got something major, but nobody have money right now, Blackhawks. You, I agree with you about this one uh, over there. Unbelievable 
turnover mega trade between the Florida Panthers and the Calgary Flame, guys. The Flame trade Matthew Kachuk and return they get for the Panthers, Jonathan Huberdeau. Mackenzie Wigar, first one pick 2025 and a prospect. And that's what we are at this moment. Uh, we are all shocked. This is the mega trade of the summer so far in NHL. Uh, that involved two teams have a great year last season. And Calgary, without Goudreau and Kachuk, have now Uberdo. And Flutter Panthers right now are shocking me. Yeah, something we don't know happening inside that team, inside the locker room. Yeah, something. I don't know what happened again. But send that problem happening and Uber Dope maybe pay the price and this is going to be shocking for Eggblad, shocking for Barkov and I don't know but it's business hockey sometime if Wayne Gretzky, Mike Macy, they get trade in the past but anybody can be trade and uh, we'll see the key for the Calgary how they can sign Uberdo. Uh, I don't think so, Nicola. Well, uh, Menko, coach, uh, Menko, okay, welcome back. Uh, Joseph, you don't buy a winner. Yes, I love Mathieu, catch up as much of the next guy, but what you have to give up, uh, give up of the half of what you build, uh, Ken Deneko. Yeah, I'm so right about this, Joseph. Uh, Bill Keneko, if again, must disappoint in. Uh, this is great for Calgary, Menko said. Um, Uberdo going to be for Marco. Uberdo won't be stay there. That's what I believe, of course, uh, Luke. And that's what when you said Calgary, uh, Flutter win or Calgary loss. I can see that. I'm not sure if Uberdo stay there, um, Luke, with Wegar and the first one pick in five years, three years, whatever it is. But we will only know there. But if Uberdo does not stay there, Luke, This is all Fleur Panthers. Look, uh, Huberdo at Montreal is going to be 29 years old. He's already 29 years old, guys. He's going to be 30 years old. Look, Huberdo at 30 years old or Pierre-Luc Dubois at 25, 26 years old? That's a great question, Look. Danny, you got a special taco. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. You can, of course, uh, leave your comments. And we still have a couple of people in the chat uh, right now. Yeah, 20 people, only 12. Click on the likes. We do a special live stream for a few minutes talking about the big mega trade between the Flutter Panthers and the Calgary Flame. I repeat again, Jonathan Huberdo. Mackenzie Wigar, first one pick 2027 and a prospect and direction of West Canadian for Matthew Ketchuk is coming to the South Florida. Already signed a contract, eight years, 9.5, 76 million dollars in the pocket of the Ketchuk. He's going to play again his brother and the Atlantic Division and Atlantic Division getting stronger again with an addition. And the East Conference got a lot of new players in that division with Kudro and Kachuk now. Uh, never mind PLD. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks, Danny. I look one of the skating. I'm starting again. Awesome, main girl. Look, uh, welcome back from British Columbia. Saturday, we are. We, more look. <laughs> I did not know what to do. Do I do a, a video? Do I do a live stream? I said, look, we just left the building. Some of them will be back here talking about hockey. So I said, why not to come back? And of course, some of you guys did not click on the likes. If you don't mind to click on the likes, that'd be great uh, if you can do. Noah Miller, Florida long-term win, uh, Noah Miller. I agree with you, Noah. If Uberdo does not sign in Calgary, but... I agree about your comments, uh, Flutter, long term. Uh, it's awesome. And again, don't forget to click on the like if you don't mind. 
That'd be great. Timing is everything. Look, yep, so the right. Uh, I I almost did not want to stop the the live stream earlier, look, because I want to see Marco, you know what I mean? Like Marco knows hockey and he have a good you know, for me a good reputation and not like a guy bring any subject like that. When he said we have a breaking news, I was trying to flipping on my Twitter, but I cannot go and my other computer don't have my Twitter over there, so and when I said that I lit I watched five minutes. I have to be sure it was confirmed. I want to see what it was, the trade back, and then I come back live here. And again, guys, don't forget to click on the likes. That'd be awesome. Uh, Roger, Butch Bouchard. Uh, talk about uh, Cooley make the team at start of the season. Yes. At least something major happened, Roger. Um, I would say to you, 75 versus 25 for Stefkowski. Roger, if I compare both. Um, by the way, Roger, hopefully you like my video today uh, about Montreal Canadian. Uh, again, uh, big major trade between Calgary and the Florida Panthers. The Florida Panthers got Matthew Katschuk signed already a contract, eight years, 9.5, $76 million. In return, Calgary got Jonathan Yubi, do, 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 do. Uberdo and Mackenzie Wigar and first one pick 2025 and a prospect Chris Swint, I believe his last name. And that's what we add at this moment. So uh je veux pas voir Uberdo à Calgary parce que le soleil à la neige. Uh what it's toujours plus fun look uh, from the snow to the beach. Uh, Cool, we appreciate you. Come back live to give us the update. Not a problem, Danny. Very kind of you. Um, was too big, uh, Danny, to not make it, to not make the live stream. Look, it's, uh, we don't have a, and guys, a trade, a Friday night at 11 p.m. in NHL. Unbelievable. A trade, Friday night, 11 o'clock p.m. in NHL. We don't talk about a Monday afternoon. We don't talk about an afternoon. It's a mega trait, by the way. It had to leave. Uh, Danny, watch ton car. <laughs> Look. Uh, JC Special, their coach. Uh, Uber, do, do, do. <laughs> uh, unreal. Look. Uh, well, yes, go. We are all waiting for that news. Uh, yes, Danny. Oh, is it going to be harder for the leave? That would be, you're right about this. Um, um, as Jose, I think that kind of foot checker, and you know, that's what Kachuk is. I think Kachuk will. I know what Uberdu did with Barkov when they played together, but now to get imagine like Matt Kachuk with Barkov and Verhehe right there, and then Bennett, Renard. Then you can add another one right there now on the left. They're going to, you know, Colin White, Tierney, Carson, London on the third one over there. So, and they miss uh, Johnny, uh, Anthony Declare, by the way. Uh, so who win this straight? I'm, what I'm hesitate, Roger, is this part. Uber, though, if he does not stay in Calgary, it's all Florida. Whatever happening in the next five years. Now, if Uber, do sign a contract over there, if we go stay there, both of them for five years, and then the pick number 20, 25th, and three years, who they look like. That's why my only, if Uber, do does not sign, this is all about Kachuk over there. And, uh, that's what I mean. State said it's all flutter right away. Uberdo is great. 96, 96 point, I believe. But again, the time we tell us. And if Uberdo does not sign Calgary, oh my God, that would be bad. 
but because they get ketchup, four checker, I like the ketchup in Florida. I think the, the biggest smile, whatever he loses his friend, uh, Ubardo, Barkov should be happy to get ketchup. Uberdo next stop is a Montreal. I'm sure Enartap is happy about this one, uh, Luc. Uh, I usually think I had to get the best player win, uh, Marco. At least they are UFA. But the fact he signed eight years, Marco, you have to give credit for the Florida Panthers to get him. They grab him and get it right away. François Pitre, uh, they made the trade, uh, François. Yep. Yeah, absolutely right, François. About this, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes before you leave the building. Again, any comments you want to talk about, anything you want to add, any question you have, I'll be here for about another 10 minutes max, and we're going to shut down after that. But again, make a trade between the Calgary and the Flame and the Panthers. Uberdo, Wegar, first one pick 2025th. Prospect Chris Swint. Again, Matthew Katschuk, a Katschuk signed a contract. $76 million, dollars, eight years, 9.5. Please, no Uberdo and Montreal, Marco, about this. Uh, the only time in Ottawa was happy was when he wore number 69. I'm in shock, Francois. Yeah, uh, me too, Francois. Whatsoever we laugh about this, I think it was today, with Frank Zalazar. I wish Frank Zalazar would be here because we talk about this and say, look, if they trade to Florida, You have to go with Bordeaux. And I said, it makes sense to me. But, you know, everybody was talking about the Blues. And tonight we said, if it's not the Blues, be careful, Dallas or Florida Panthers. Have a good night, Danny. Things tend to open up other signing trade. Yes. Uh, for me, Marco, more about Kadri. Right now, Marco, Calgary cannot miss Kadri right now. Right? They cannot miss him. Now, they can get NN, Phil Kessel, but I don't see Kessel in Calgary with Daryl Sutter. Uh, with Sutter. Ev 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 Rodriguez is another one. But Calgary cannot stop shopping right now. They, can't, they need to get Kadri on that mix over there. Yeah, absolutely right, Francois. That's what uh, Luke said. Can Kadri turn over, turn around, and go get Patrick Kane? They gave them a first one pick. They gave them a defenseman they have because of Wegar. I don't know. Uh, will Florida be good or better than Tampa Bay now? But what they have right now, Roger, is they have a guy can make can be an impact measure against Tampa Bay or Toronto. For the fourth check. That's what for me, you have to give credit for Florida right now with Ketchup. Because they don't have those kind of plurf. And I said yes today. Florida don't have those and Toronto don't have an impact player like him. And and the playoff. He's a strong power forward. And when you go to playoff, that's what you need. So Carolina don't have those kind of players too. So I think Florida will be better. I would pay good money to see Cassell play with Sutter. <laughs> yeah. Trade Service Alliance. Uh, Michael, is that is Sutter the reason all those players are moving on? Uh, uh, trade, we talked about this and earlier, what? Well, not because of you, you. It's because how can you blame Sutter when the boat player have an amazing great career, the best career in the NHL? They should hug Sutter or give him some money back. They put both of them on the map. And the reason they make money now is because of Sutter. 
How can you blame both? I think you have to blame the GM over there in Calgary with no action or proactive to not wait on the last minute and right now to get this. So great question, Trey, but I don't see Sutter to blame on this. I don't see how. You know what I mean? The team have a great year. They finished first. They've been to the third round. So second round they lost. Marco Toronto don't have a catch-up. Catch-up, je suis bien le lip. Yeah. Let's see what happened on the deadline with Kane. Let get excited. Striper and Flutter are crying right now. It's just not a major source of income. I tell you, Cole, don't be surprised if you'll be getting straight. Hey, Frank, we talk about this today, right? Frank is in that chat. We talk about this today. We talk about possible Uberdo get there. And we, we, yeah, glad to see this. Uh, please, someone sign Phil Cassel, Francois. Uh, COVID to plan for player leaving. Marco. Will this trade open the door for more team to move players? Not really for me, Roger. You know what I mean? Like, after that, it, it was Pierre-Luc Dubois. He signed. After that, you have Patrick Kane, Jonathan Tays, want to get out of Chicago if something happened there. Jenny Miller, I think Vancouver will wait until the trade deadline. You're going to have minor... Trade, like Mont Montreal, maybe trade someone just because salary cap or another team want to have salary cap. But you get Buck Ram today, want to call a, call a bus to Seattle for dumping con uh, money. But otherwise, I don't see those kind of the trade. But Frank, we, we nailed it today, more Frank. Uh, we talk about this today, amazing. Uh, will this trade open? Uh, uh, good evening, Coach Joseph, uh, absolutely correct, Coach, about Sutter. Uh, thanks, Joseph. I think so, too. I, I think, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Wheeler is Shefley. Now, the Jet have to figure out something over there. Shefley could be a make a trade, but between you and me, Marco, we know Wheeler cannot be a big, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a, a giveaway right there. Why I feel used to remark coming in Calgary between Salar and Uberdo. You're absolutely right, Frank. I don't know honestly who did it. I don't know if it's Uberdo. I don't know who was involved. Honestly, Frank, but he was pretty sure one of them and he paid a price for that incident. And that uh, Zito need to change the locker room. And that kind of, we talked, Frank, about this today. The three friends, right? The Eggblad, the Barkov, and the Uberdo, they grow together since seven, nine years, and they pay the price is Uberdo today. And I'll be honest with you, all, all year I said they would never trade them because I never see that. Now, the incident you talk about, Frank, could change everything, and I agree with you. They did not like what happening, and they know. Because think about this, guys. They pay a huge amount of future for the playoff. First one pick 2022, 2023, right? And now they gave the 25, the 25th, all together, It because of those situations happening and the way they play in the playoff, they pissed them off a lot to say, you know what? We cannot keep the, the, the trio together anymore. So great comments, guys, about this. Kudru uh, Club and Fleda. Yeah, Marco. Yeah. I can imagine Coach Schroeder getting drunk tonight, crossing management, Francois. Uh, yeah, Coach has become a low police. <laughs> <laughs> We have to put our FBI on the on the spot over there. We have our friend uh, Dougie over there. Um, we're going to get the FBI, Mr. Luke, uh, 
the doggy uh, spook uh, spook uh, spook is going to be on the searching about what happening and the Florida Panthers. <laughs> wow, what a what an amazing story, guys! Tonight uh, we never thought this going happening at the, as a mega trade at this time of the night, a Friday night, July twenty second. Something we're going to remember again. The trade between Calgary Flame, that's you catch up trade to the Florida Panthers and return Jonathan Huberdo, Mackenzie Wigar, first one pick 2025 and a prospect. Wow. Uh, Marco Huberdo with the Kaskinen, I think it'll be great together. Problem if they trade back in Montreal, uh, we have a lot of spot he would like to hanging out, uh, Drouin. Uh, 29, uh, Roger. You're going to turn 30 next year. Uh, that's awesome, Frank. No, the guy is a great guy. You know what I mean? Like, he's a great hockey player. One of the best left winger in NHL. And pass the puck, unbelievable. But the problem with Calgary now... Can they sign him? Can Uber do want to stay there? Is the guy scored 25 gold, 30 gold max, but he, he makes, you know, how many assists he got? 75 this year, something like that. You need a sniper with him. So. He play on power play. He play on PK now. Exactly, Marco. Assist. Two. So, wow. What a... Oh my God. Uh, for now, we got and you better our rental until they sign extension. Need to chill until they sign it. Yep. Um, he did not do well like the team, Marco. Um, yeah, that, that's the key behind that is the, how they're going to do that. How they're going to go an extension? How they're going to use the UFA? I think we got have a three more years, two more years. A 3.5, something like that. No, you become UFA after that, 3.2. So, big risk for Calgary. You're absolutely right, uh, Mr. Enday. It's only a 5.8, 5.9, um, Roger. 5.9. And Calgary next year, guys, Lutzik is out. He's going to have more money next season. So, um, yeah. You're absolutely right. Uh, I would like the trade, but now I have a question about our defense losing Wega. Um, Frank, now is is the deal. Now, Florida has $3.3 million over a cap. First link is going to be number one over there. They have the veteran Max Stahl at the bottom. As a left defenseman, then we need a left defenseman at some point. Um, Frank. They have Montour. On the on the prospect, I don't think so. Evan Nays uh, knows he's ready or Sayos. They signed the veteran Michael uh, Del Zotto, um, and they have the uh, also Anthony Pidedo. So, number four defenseman, it's not great. Now, can they sign back Robert Hag? But again, the problem they have is like they have over cap over there. So, um, maybe they can trade.
But now be careful, Zikla is going to be a long-term injury reserve now. So that open up there. Oh snap, we're back and live again. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely right. You, you're absolutely right about Wigar. And of course, he was terrible on defensive um, Wigar. Uh, Calgary still well construct team, solid D, a goaltender, need to align a plane here with the, the straight uh, Marco. Yep. Better is going to be up again the cap next year also to extend Huberdo to a similar deal like Barkov, extend Wigar, who won the Sergachev deal. Uh, I would never give that kind of money. Honestly, between you and me, is more like a defenseman number four and number five. And uh, I would never do that. Now, next year, the good news for, Cal uh, for Florida, they lose the $5.3 billion of all risks. And uh, so... Money-wise, it's not bad overall. And this year, they carry on the $5.3 million of Kate Yendall. And next year, they have only $1.1, $1.2. So money-wise, they have enough money to pay and to have another UFA if they want to. Wow. Um... Now, how can you justify this trade? Uh, I'm not sure. Look, I understand. So I feel lame. Uh, Wigal was not a genius in the playoff. It was directly responsible for the ballot goal when he scored in the last second. Uh, yeah, you talk about the, the goal behind the net, uh, Francois. Everything is happening. Marco Calgary going Chicago way. Look, uh, after we got cut his air last is Mojo Marco. We have 20 million next season and cap. We are fine next year. Frankie, yep. Yeah. How did Calgary pull this straight out the low but uh, run with Kings? Uh, what's the fine for eight over the cap? Uh, well, you cannot, Roger. So, yeah, no tax. You, you cannot pay. You cannot pay a fees. You have to start the season with 82.5, uh, the worst they can get, uh, uh, Roger. If it's happening, they're over. They have to waive uh, players to go under. So it's not like if they can go over, then you pay the tax like baseball at the end, uh, Roger. Next year, Panther, I have to decide to extend Verhehe or Declare. No, Verhei is already good for three years at four point one million dollars. Zikla is good for two years uh, at three million dollars. The only one they have next year is Orvis. Um, that's it. Uh, Marco uh, Emeto will win Alberto Ballot this year. Probosky still have a NCDC until twenty twenty four. I think uh, Probosky. Is MNC until uh, 23 24. You have two more years, Proboski. Uh, yeah, so right after that, 24, 25th, 25th, 26th. Um, and you cannot buy him out, that would cost you too much money. I will never buy him out. Wow, unbelievable, guys. Uh, This is a gamble for both teams. A small gamble for Florida and a mega gamble. You're absolutely right about this, Francois. Um, I think Cacho will be fine with Florida, right? Um, yeah, but on that one, um, on that one um, about him, because it's only his second contract, right? It's just an RFA. You don't have to give him a lot of money. And I don't think so. They would sign him for a long term right away. I think they're going to give him a, contra a bridge contract until the Broboski set up better. So he can get a three, million, uh, a three years contract. And that will limit his money lower. 
And then after that, that would be the, the way I see this. Uh, Bobblehead Batman. More trade like this, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dave Bernard, Broboski out. Um, they lose a lot of the point offensive. Always maybe still betrayed. Yes, I agree with you about that one there. Because that gave them a lot of right winger, right? Uh, with uh, Katshuk. Uh, Katshuk, he played both sides, but more like a right, a, right, a right winger. You have Reynard, you have Orvis, you have uh, Ziclair, but he played both ways. So, um, that's what he got so far. Uh, Dave Bernal, Knight is better than Proboski, yeah. But the point here, Dave, is like they cannot trade Proboski with the money he, he makes. Knock out all the Panthers, better was with this trade. Here's my biggest thing, Frank. During the... During the season, if they make the playoff, right? If they go to make the playoff, they are a better team with Katshuk in the playoff. So for me, they are better. They maybe not win the Prison Cup trophy. They maybe not finish number one in Atlantic. They only need is to go in the playoff. And then... The magic of Katshuk and the team after that. For me, they are better. Uh, I'm surprised that Uberdo did not have a close where he goes. Uh, look. Uh, yeah. You have a, uh, be careful. Uh, he has like... Uh, You have a much final close, uh, submit a list of eight teams he cannot be traded. So he has a, a special clo uh, close, like he maybe said Arizona, Chicago, everything like that look. So he could be traded to Calgary. So you have like a, a much fight NTC, Uberdo. How many points did Mathieu have last season? 103 points, uh, Roger. Flutter better play more solid and defense because coming back from deficit to one, they would be very hard, uh, Francois. Um, Luc Lafarcine, 84. Really? One hundred four point uh, last year, um, Ketchup. 42 goals, 62.104 for catch-up. I said 103 all the night, but it's 104. If Benters would just score on the power play, none of this would be happening. Yeah, they have a very difficult time. RJ, welcome back in the house. Uh, they did not score on the power play because Uberto is a parameter player. If we better leave Calgary after this upcoming season, would the trade still be good for Calgary? No. No. Uh, would the trade would be good for Calgary? Are uh, you talking about the winner of the trade? Or to add another player? Not a problem, look. Just listen, coach. <laughs> I just play with you, look. <laughs> um, I have two points about this one over there. Um, and they, all right? I believe Eggblad was hurt in the playoff, and he did not play one of the power play. Secondly, I think on the left side, the flanker you talk about, I don't know if you agree, I think Eggblad should be on that side over there, on the left side, as a, a, a one-timer. I think Uberdo he has a difficult time with Barkov over there. And too many pass, too many try to, be, to do the pretty play after that. Uh, just more <laughs> Gary lost their mind, Francois Pitt. Uh, 
Luc, c'est tout. Euh, je suis dans late night. <laughs> right, t'es en vacances maintenant. All right, guys, uh, I will throw out there. Have a good night, Marco. Me too, it's coming soon. <laughs> Mr. Real Deal, you're absolutely right about this one over there. I can't, you know what I mean? You cannot ask her more about this one over there. You're absolutely right, uh, Real Deal, about this. And, and they, I think it was the first time with us. If you are, welcome. Hopefully, you're going to subscribe. We really appreciate it. Uh, to be with us tonight uh, again. Uh, the Panthers power play was doing better because Giroud joined the team. Uh, Brunette forced him in the unit. Uh, and maybe that chemistry was true off. Uh. Yeah, absolutely right about this. At some point, I would say to me, they should, they need to split Giroud with the unit number one, number two. I think for me, it was not properly all together for unit number one, number two, and they, about this one. Wow, what a treat, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. Again, for one more time, you can leave me a comment, if not, We're going to go, but again, we're going to repeat the trade of Florida Panthers trade, jo um, Jonathan Huberdo, McKenzie Wigar, the first round pick 2025th, and the prospect Chris Swint. Again, Matthew Katschuk, and Katschuk signed right away a contract of eight years at $9.5 million for a total of $76 million. This is a trade, mega trade in NHL. This is the, the biggest trade in 2022 offseason. Uh, Landerson, I agree, thought Kachuk will make less points next year, but come on, oh, you don't give that type of players. Um, yeah, it, it's a big risk, Francois, because both players are UFA next year. Huberdo and Wegar. So, you know, money talks, we said. Whatever they keep regard, that's not really good enough. The, pif, the key for them is Uber, though. But if Kodrou left, if Kachuk left, why Uber, though, will stay there? You know what I mean? Uh, Francois, yeah. That's the biggest problem, Francois. It's the UFA problem. Uh, if you are play for the team, Boomerang, it's eight years. So, is the team has the rights of the players? It's eight years. If you are become a UFA, now it's seven years. That's the difference between seven and eight. Uh, run. So if you if you play for that team or you got trade to that team and that team own you now, like Ketchup got eight years because he became a player for Florida, it's eight. But if you sign on the UFA, it's seven years. Mais franchement, coach, je comprends pas qu'Agri a donné Ketchup. Mais il n'y avait pas le choix, mon homme. Il fallait qu'il qu parte. I feel like Ketchup would have walked For nothing, application will have a what one year, no less than nine million. It's a pretty same move. It's anything they made a move. It was necessary. Yeah, you're yeah, absolutely right about this, Fred. Now they have the money to pay him nine million dollars free, of course. But they want something in return, and at let him go like this, free. You're yeah, absolutely right. Your comments, it makes sense, of course. Uh, Bug Monkey, welcome back. Uh, Uh, we're going to leave uh, now, Bug the Monkey. <laughs> I'm, we just came back here. I thought you would be earlier. When you signed on earlier, I was not live yet. I was picking up all the information. That's what I, I, can, I did not want to. I did not pick you up. And then you left when I was trying to get you. And um, if you came here earlier, at the beginning of the live, I would pick you up uh, That's awesome. You did it, my friend. Good job. 
uh, definitely uh, you can come back tomorrow, whatever we're going to do that. That's not a problem for sure. A good job if you did a video, that's the right things to do for your channel. Uh, really important fight, by the way, uh, to do that. So uh, don't forget guys to click on the likes, by the way. Any comments you want to give me in the next three minutes, I'll be there for next three minutes. Uh, and again, it's an extra, hour, an extra show tonight. We shut down and then we come back right away uh, when we got the pregame news uh, and we'll give you the best information you can get. Uh, Uberdo va partir pareil, très mauvais, très, très d'accord avec toi, mon lit. Crazy uh, Park, right? How is the street class train in Calgary? Uh, I don't know, Frank, uh, Francois, my head is still spinning. Are you agree or disagree? Uh, this is key for catch it, you do it. Bonne ram? It depends, bonne ram. We don't have no center. So, I would not do it, obviously. I like the trade, especially if the wing and Weber walk. You're absolutely right, uh, monkey. And whatever what you do over there, by the monkey, it's a winner for Florida. Uh, better, it, it depends, right? When I would say better, no, but equal, yes. Katsuk does things like Uberdo cannot do, right? And Uberdo and Katsuk does things what Uberdo cannot do, and Uberdo does things like Katsuk cannot do. So, physical thing, Katsuk, and front the net, Katsuk, fighting, Katsuk. Scoring, catch up. Four checking, catch up. Power strong, catch up. Passing, Uberdo. Hockey sends, Uberdo. Play on both ways, PP, PK, special team, Uberdo. Right? But otherwise, a little bit what you need in the playoff, Pokemon Key. All advantage catch up. Uh, is the same asset management. You can compare Barkov and catch up to Prime Bergeron and Marchand. Um, yeah, I can understand your point of view. Maybe, maybe not. I think catch up is more physical at Marchand. Uh, Bergeron is a little bit better to Barkov two way center. I think Barkov a little bit more offensive. Katschuk is more, a little bit more physical, stronger as a power because Marchand is smaller and uh, he can fight. But uh, otherwise, hey, you don't do the ski for Ketchup? Uh, no, uh, Francois, because we don't have no center. That's a problem. Otherwise, I will do it. But yeah, no center. So as a team, you go backwards. I will do it for his brother. Look, uh, Ketchuk can also stand up for Barca, which was a part of the plot. Exactly about this one over there. Here we go. They are coming back again. Uh, we delete them. Here come the lover. Look, uh, of course, in midnight. Uh, Coach, can you sell me a catch up and why I will sell exactly what I should expect? Physical, for checking, fighter, elevate, you, you put your teammate bigger. They all now increasing one inch to two inches because catch up would be there if something happening in the corner. Go in front of the net. Nobody go in front of the net. The only one can do that was Patrick or this. And he play on the four line. If you like Sam Bennett, the way he play physical, now you go to love Matthew Ketchup because he's more physical. Well, that trade blew my mind, coach. How about you? We're all talking that way, Bobby, about this. Uh, Chris Nickwist, uh, Flame win this deal. Hopefully, Panthers have a, have a good pick for us round. Uh, Chris, <laughs> that's a good one over there. <laughs> Welcome in the chat, but uh, it's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one, Chris. 
Uh, Bobby, I agree with you. But of course, that's another element we only talked one time earlier, but we not bring back. Uh, Uberdo 29 and Catchhook 24. You're absolutely right about this one over there. And uh, only thing I hope, Chris, is they make the playoff, but a lower. So if they can finish second or third, uh, that'd be good for us. They have 14 players, 16 and younger. There we go. Another one. The better window grow. Yep. So if we crash, he burn with that trade. As soon as Berdo get out of Calgary, yeah, absolutely right about this, Francois. Of course, uh, that's happening about this. Uh, Mr. Kilo, welcome aboard. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. All right, guys. Uh, I mean, 14 players, 26 and younger. Yeah, coach. Uh, do you really think that Barkov has the GM confidence? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, coach, I mean, out, oh, not a problem. Uh... I do my best to cover them. Uh, I try uh, just put them out completely. Uh, where is Wegar on the flame? Yarshi. Uh, left defenseman, second pairing. So happy. Enjoy your summer in Canada, Ube. <laughs> Get her. Uh, Bugger Monkey, I still believe Anderson, Anifim, Danev, Wegar, Zadorov, and Killington. That's how you see that. Uh, Catcher and Barco would be a weak combo. I agree with you, Bobby, about this one over there. Um, again, Catcher bring physicality for checking, fight, front net, power play in front of net. Really, really strong. And compete more. I think it's compete more is, of course, another one. Now we watch Manship and yeah, 35 gold RFA. They need him. Wegar is gone. Huberdo is 29. And Matty is young and get a lot of gold. Yep, absolutely right. How much does Max Jambi a Kenanga sign? Uh, that Japanese can go at four five million dollars pack, and uh, Killington not much. Um, don't expect too much about Killington. Uh, if you leave Uberdo lock in the Rockham for twenty four hours with Sutter, one of them must die. About this, what should I expect from Prim uh, Kachuk? Another forty gold. Uh, pack the monkey, ninety point. Uh, Nicola Bizzo veut pas qu'on dorme. <laughs> Nicola. Uh, about this, uh, and then uh, this kind of people show up uh, all the time. Uh, now we will get trade on and get a new defenseman. Yeah, absolutely right about this getter. Back up, Bob Knight and Eggblad by the monkey. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, time to go. I, I We did almost like one hour. It was not funny. It was good. I love it. I love those stuff like this, guys. That's what we do at the Hockey Nation Live Show. We never sleep. We're always awake. We're always at the... Waiting for the mega trade, and we pop up, 
and I was supposed to make a video. I said, you know what? Let's go all together. I love the chat. I love to interact each other. I think it's fun. I think that's the best way. Only hope one day we we'll get thousands of people more inside this channel. But at the end of the day, we have the quality. We have the great people like you. And you're the reason why we make it friend at our Kenyan show. We wish you an amazing, great weekend again. We'll be pop up tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, for a special uh, Let's Talk Abs. Or we'll go talk about Let's Talk Panthers and the Flame tomorrow night uh, with all the people together. Until then, we want to remind you one more thing. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. The late edition with this kind of crazy move, you, the code, must be quite confident they will find a son out of the planet. What? Oh, can you imagine the rest of the sun, Pony Convoyer? I think a Daryl Sutter could be on the watching list tomorrow. Be careful, we're going to maybe hear a bad news from Daryl Sutter until then. Uh, free uh, Pug Monkey Match Japanese Closest Cover at Mentor 5.7. Absolutely right about this friend. Bobby McAdonuts, uh, have an amazing great night. Pas de problème, mon Luc. Have an amazing great night. Everybody, be well, be healthy. Finally, we not only dominate your day, finally, we to dominate your second half of what? As you said, 2022. Have a great night, everybody. Bonne nuit, mon Jose. Surprise I'd rather want you to Nice